Hello guys, welcome back to Habits and Bices channel. So for today's video, we're going to create a smart contract for Ethereum. We will be using Python programming language. So we need this Brownie framework for developing and testing our smart contract. And then we won't be using the Ganache command line interface. Instead, we will be using this GoEthereum for our Ethereum protocol and also we won't be using the Solidity language instead we will be using the Viper for our smart contract creation and compiling we also need this Docker so we will install the images on our Docker file or Docker compose file so let's start our development. Let's add some Docker Compose file. And we need uh, version 3 for our Docker Compose. And the service, services. So let's call the our node service 1. So we need the image for our go ethereum so let's get that uh, stable one and then we type the command so just copy paste the command here and then we tell the service our port so Let's open up the port 8545 eight, port and then 3033 three, 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 port and then our, our volume where where our blockchain will data will store data ethereum then node one so on the docker side we will store it on the root data and we give it uh, right and read and write permission So this is our first service and first node. So let's try it. So let's compile it. Docker compose dot build dot up. So let's see if we'll continue. So this one is error. So let's change it. All right, it's fire up. So let's connect to this to this container image. I mean container. So let's execute some command. So Docker compose exec so it means we will execute some a command on node one so git then attach let's see our data for node one so git ipc so it's on the root data get git ipc so we are connected to our node so let's type some command
So let's create a new account. Get new account. We type our price. Then we type. So that's it. We have created a new a new account. So let's send some Ethereum on this account. So next we will create our smart contract. So we create a Docker file. And then we just copy and paste the our script. So we need we need this Python programming language and we will install it and then requirements. So let's type the requirements requirements.txt and then it brownie. So this is the package we need. So next we will update our our Docker file, Docker Compose file. So we type contract for our service build, and then the command. So don't usually need the command here. We just type the null, the tail null, and then. We also need the volumes. So our contract will reside on our source file. Let's say this file is brownie viper. Then Browning Viper. So this de depends on Node One service. So let me st let's stop this one. Our Docker Compose file. And let's shut it down. So we have an error. So so that's it. It shut down. So let's try to fire up our Docker. Now it's running, so let's check on the Docker PS, which container is, is started. So for our contract service is up and running. So what we need to do is to connect this contract service to the node service. So what we need to do is docker compose accept then contract brownie then let's type help so this one so we need this network to connect to the uh, our ethereum node so let's type network networks help so we need to add the the type or mode and then the name and then the host of the network and the chain id so let's see 
let's list all the network so we won't be using the ganache cli so we will create our own network and we won't be using the the development or the live network like ethereum mainnet or other other chain other blockchain so we will we will add our go language ethereum network so we need to know which ip address of our our node container service so let's type docker inspect and then the container id so is the network so this is the ip address that we need so that's zero zero two so let's try to connect our brownie on that on that provider so let's type docker compose exec and con contract brownie networks then add then our network is dev development ethereum so dev add so then the name is dev add then type the house http seven two twenty one dot zero dot two and then the port number is eight five four five the chain chain id is equal to one two three four five so let's wait for the comment brownie so we've got a wrong spelling so there we are connected to our dev ethereum network so if you wanted to to set up a static ip for our node uh, service we can also do that so let's just remove this one so brownie network delete and then the name of the network so it was delete so so let's set up a static ip for our node so ip and then the name of the network node net for example and then then ip i pump then bridge the right driver is equal to default and then config is equal to our subnet and the subnet will be seven Two that T two that zero that zero sixteen. So so that will be our subnet subnet gateway, and then our network should be. Let's set up our network here, and then. Let's sell it for his uh, node net network. And, and we forget to set our IP. So let's say our IP is 72.22.0.0.0. 0 
Tu. So let's try again. Well, let's say seven. So let's try again. So let's shut down our services. So, so it will be refreshed. So, Docker compose down. So, oh, I forgot. So we don't need this one. We don't need the dash. So let's fire it up again. So we will create a project for our contract using the brownie framework. Post exec and then service name, contract, and then document. Well, let's type in it. So, our new project is created. So, next we will configure our brownie, which uh, network to use and which compiler. So, let's type Brownie, let's create a configuration file. Configure ML and then we just uh, copy paste our configuration. So our EBM version is in Istanbul and then Viper version, and then the network. So let, let us save it and then and close it. So next we will create a simple contract. So in our contract folder, so let's create a hello, hello world, hello world that by means a uh, or by per contract. So first let's say reader or public and then address and then greetings greetings it's public string 100 then the contractor we won't pass any arguments in our contractor parameters so let's say self things is equal to hello world Type it external. External. So next we will create an additional parameter that will update our greetings. Our greetings message. So say greet and then greetings. 100 self that greetings is equal to greetings and self that greeter so we will also update the greeter and host 
who will whose address is the, the sender so it will store the address of the sender so let's just say hello world hello world smart contract smart um, implementation so this is our smart contract so let's try to compile it let's see it's fit running so let's try to compile it so brownie compile So our hello world is already compiled, so let's check it. It's our JSON. So let's try to deploy this smart contract on Remix. So let's go to Remix. So we are here in Remix, so we need to activate Piper. So next we will add the our contract hello word that b so let's copy paste our code and then we will compile it so it compiled and then we can connect to our private network so provider so this one the these are the addresses that we have but for this tutorial uh, we will use metamask so we will connect our private network in our metamask so here in metamask we will click this network and then let's add network let's call it dev it then the url so we, we can use localhost our ip then the port number And the chain number then the symbol so we have chain so that's the our so we are now connected to our network so from here we will also need to import our account so we will use JSON file so we will need the uh, we will need our account it is in the data folder ethereum node one then key store so we need this second account so type the price what the price that we enter earlier so then click import so there we have our test account on our metamask so let's go back to our remix and then let's change a uh, web3 provider to injected web3 so it will ask our dummy account so we will sign that we will sign in then there there you go we are all our metamask is connected so what we need is to deploy our smart contract so as you can see we are on the dev 
environment, DevNet Ethereum network. So this Ethereum and transaction is just for demo purposes. So you won't be sending uh, a real Ethereum on this transaction. So let's confirm that. so it is deployed and now we can test it so the greeting greeter id address is not is still zero zero there's no greeter and then the the greetings is still the default hello world so we can change that greeting so let's say hello there so let's hit transact and will and it will ask for signature so we need to sign this and confirm our transaction so hello there let's see if it's changed so our greetings message is changed and then our greeter ID address is also changed. So we have a working smart contract on our um, private network. So if you have any questions, just leave a message or a comment below. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, stay tuned for our next programming tutorial on blockchain development. Until next time. Bye.